What's up guys, it's Andre, uh, or Chokenator. Um, I just got out of church, so uh, here at the local Catholic church, uh, there's daily mass every morning at 8 in the morning. And I used to go pretty much every day um, a while back. And uh, I know some of you were in my stream last night, and I was really being real with you guys about like, you know, my current emotional, financial situation. Um, how the pressure's kind of been uh, piling on, uh, especially with my wedding coming up. And um, I'm really feeling it now. I'm really in the thick of it. Uh, and I just have to face it head on. And I, I know I was venting to you guys a lot last night. And I want to thank you guys for um, being there, for hearing me out, and for the support. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. And I want to thank you guys. Um, this morning at Mass, uh, the Gospel reading, um, they have a Gospel reading uh, at every Mass. And it was, you know that song, This Little Light of Mine, I'm Gonna Let It Shine? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. It's based on a passage in the Gospel um, where uh, it's saying, if you have a light, don't put it under a bushel. Don't put it under a basket. Let it shine. Right, and it made me think about like all the commissions I need to do, all the stuff that I want to draw, all the stories that I want to tell, and the the deep wealth of ideas that I've come up with. I have confidence in them, and I think I've just been really exasperated by money and by my relationship, and uh, just all the pressure that. Um, all those things that are outside of the realm of drawing itself. Because whenever I'm drawing, it's I'm having the time of my life. It's it's really fun. Uh, I really enjoy improving. I really enjoy telling stories. I really enjoy creating characters, making animations. All those things, I super enjoy it. But it's all the stuff outside of that, uh, you know, the real stuff. Um, not that, you know, my drawings aren't, you know, real. It's, it's real work. But um, the responsibilities, uh, you know, bills, current bills and future bills... Um, the weight of the world, really. And, and I know everyone faces it. I know as a lot of you are in different stages of life. Some of you are younger. Some of you are older. Some of you are in my stage of life where you really have to take care of yourself. You're in your 20s. And you just got to pay taxes and you got to figure everything out. And um, if you're like me, you didn't have the greatest preparation for it. Um, I don't know. I, or I, I came in unprepared for all these uh, basically living costs. But, you know, going to church this morning reminded me that, you know, being successful means loving and serving others. Um, I have to remember that when I'm asked, like, to make, to, to um, draw something for someone, it's because they find my art valuable. They think I'm good. And the people are willing to pay because they think that what I'm drawing is going to look good. And that there's a lot of trust there. And... There's no reason for me to take that for granted. Uh, I think if people find me, you know, valuable, find my skills valuable, then I should really be thankful for it. And I think I need to increase my gratitude. Because um, I, I don't think, I haven't been ungrateful, per se. I just think that me procrastinating and me um, just letting the weight of the world, you know, pull me down... Uh, is making me forget that commissions are not just my income. It's not about me. It's about, you know, serving the people that find me valuable. It's about the relationship. And, you know, I see all these business videos because I watch a lot of financial advice videos because, you know, I'm in the predicament. And um, so I watch a lot of videos to, to help give me advice. And they always say, uh, you know, focus on the relationships. And me doing good work and me uh, having, you know, good uh, standing with my with the client, you know, with the commissioner, there, there's a potential there. They can become more than just a person that I'm drawing for and they're paying me to do it. It can be a friendship. And I think you guys, especially last night, have shown me that. Uh, it, I mean, you subbed to my stream and that's like there's a level of trust there, too. Like there's a level of trust that I'm going to keep streaming and that... Uh, um, I'm going to keep, you know, having fun times with you guys. Um, 
And I think, uh, I guess going to church this morning helped me realize that I need to let that light shine. I think I'm a personable guy. I think I'm a good guy. I think I'm a loving guy. And all these things are good, valuable things that I need to bring into a marriage. And for me to sort of start letting that die, um, it's I'm happy that I went to church this morning so I could kind of catch it. And that's kind of the point of me going to church, you know. The, today It's a Thursday. It's not a Sunday. I can go to church whenever I want. I mean, I should go to church on Sundays, but I can still go whenever I want because they provide this Mass every day. And um, I'm really happy I went. Uh, it was sort of a refresher on that. And I want to go into this work day. Uh, I'm going to stream. And I want to go into it uh, prepared and with a new mindset and or with a refreshed mindset. And it might not be totally perfectly refreshed, but... Um, I want to I want to get it refreshed. Uh, I want to work through it. And who knows, maybe this can become a habit. I think it would be a really great habit if I could um you know go to church every morning. Uh And I know I mentioned to you guys before that in 2012, 2013 uh I was a lot happier, but I think a lot of it had to do with my presence at at church and my activity in my faith. Um my activeness in my faith and just the amount of prayer I did and all those things. Like a, a lot of my happiness came from those times. And I know that's not the case for you. I know a lot of you guys uh, who are my friends uh, through the stream or through Discord um, are not really religious or anything. But for me personally, a lot of my foundation comes from that. And maybe some of you don't pray to any deity or any god, but I think maybe some form of... Uh, um, Meditation on your on your goals, on your aspirations, and the relationships and the love in your life. All, like all the things, all the good things that, you know, my faith promotes are all things that I think apply to everyone, religious or not. Things like love and things like service and things like, uh, you know, uh, doing good work in good faith. Uh, they're all valuable. And they're valuable to me. And I hope, uh, yeah, I hope this video, um, I, I really don't really have any hopes for this video, honestly. I just wanna wanted to kind of vent it out. I want to continue venting, a continuation of last night, last night's stream. And um, for those of you who are watching this, I, again, I want to thank you because this is a relationship. You know, you sat through seven, eight minutes of video and uh, are just listening to me rant about my life, which means you really care. And if you got to this point, I'm, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you taking your time out of your day. Um, and I want to I wanna keep building this. I want to keep building that relationship. You know, you guys are my friends, uh, more than you know, more than you realize. Um, because as I mentioned last night, my social life since the past year has really suffered because of uh, work, um, because of my work ethic. I think my work ethic has become too business oriented too too much about myself and money and money is a real thing it's very important but i realize i'm realizing and i'm remembering after going to church that money making money comes from providing value to others and i want to be something valuable to you to myself to my family and to my future wife um yeah that's it all right thank you guys uh peace out i love you all god bless bye bye oh see you on stream